Petter watches disapprovingly as John hands the castles of Last Hearth and Carhold back over to Ned Umber and Alice Karstark, despite their parents' role in the Battle of the Bastards. He later confronts Sansa to see if she is truly safe and happy. She tells him she is safe in Winterfell, but he continues to question her in regards to her happiness. Sansa dismisses him. Just before he tries to resume speaking, Sansa dismisses Petter again as Brienne arrives. In the Great Hall, Petter watches as Jon discusses accepting the deal to meet with Daenerys Targaryen to the other lords, citing the need for Dragonglass to forge weapons to kill White Walkers after receiving a raven from Samwell Tarly. Petter smirks as Jon places his half-sister Sansa in charge of the North while he's gone. In Winterfell's crypts, Petter finds Jon visiting his father's tomb and claims to Jon that he only wants to help him. Jon does not buy it and angrily orders Bellish out of the crypt, bluntly stating he has nothing to say to the man. Slightly offended, Bellish retorts that Jon might show him a little gratitude for saving him from death at the hands of Ramsay Bolton. He also admits his love for Sansa, just as he loved her mother. Disgusted, Jon shoves Petter against the wall and strangles him, angrily promising Bellish that he will kill him if he ever touches Sansa, and angrily leaves the crypts. Sansa and Petter learn from Maester Wolken that they have about 4,000 bushels of wheat. Sansa realizes that they don't have enough food for the coming winter. She advocates building granaries to stockpile for a famine and orders leather to be placed on the armory. While walking, Bellish and Sansa talk about the threat of Cersei. Petter urges her to fight every battle and to look for threats in every corner. They are then interrupted by a guard who tells Lady Stark that she has received a visitor at the gates who turns out to be her younger brother Bran Stark. Petter later meets with the recently returned Bran and gives him the Valyrian steel dagger that was used to make an attempt on his life from the Catspaw. Unimpressed and uninterested, Bran simply asks if he knows who had the dagger before the assassin to which Petter responds that same question started the War of the Five Kings. Petter then asks Bran how he survived beyond the Wall only to return to such chaos. Bran replies, Chaos is a ladder the very thing Petter said to Varys during his rise in power after allowing Joffrey Baratheon to kill Rose. Slightly unnerved, Petter then exits upon the entrance of Mira Reed, addressing Bran as, Lord Stark. However, Bran corrects Littlefinger, explaining that he cannot be a lord because he is now the three-eyed raven. Petter watches from the battlements as Arya Stark returns to Winterfell and later when she spars with Brienne. However, after the practice, Arya looks up at Petter with a disapproving and untrustworthy look. Yet again hatching another cunning plan, Petter bows from the high walls and walks away from Arya's view. After trying and failing to manipulate Bran, Petter formulates a plan to separate the Stark sisters, starting with Arya. Arya herself becomes increasingly suspicious of Petter and begins shadowing him in order to figure out his plan. He engages in conversation with a common girl, before giving her money for her information. Arya follows Petter around Winterfell and watches him from the battlements as he eerily converses with Yon Royce and Robert Glover. Petter then receives Maester Lewin's copy of Sansa's letter to Rob, asking him to surrender to Joffrey, from Wolken, who assures him that there's no other copy in Winterfell. Arya retrieves the letter after investigating his chambers. However, Petter watches from the shadows as Arya exits, showing that he knew all along of her spying on him and was counting on her to find the letter. Petter smiles, hoping this will turn the hot-tempered Arya against her sister. After Arya confronts Sansa over the letter, Sansa becomes worried that Arya could turn the Northerners against her or even worse, harm her in some way and voices her concerns to Petter. Petter reminds her that Brienne swore an oath to Caitlin that she would watch over both Stark sisters and should protect her from Arya if the latter was to try and murder Sansa. Following this, Sansa receives a letter from Jon, stating his pledge to Daenerys Targaryen. Petter then talks of rumors of the Dragon Queen's beauty, making Sansa believe that Jon wishes to marry her. Petter is also told that Arya had previously worked as a faceless man in Bravos, to which he plays on the idea of Arya being a ruthless assassin. Petter then tells Sansa that he always imagines the worst possible ideas a person has in their mind. He then implants the idea that Arya has come to Winterfell after discovering the letter and her marriages to Tyrion and Ramsay, after which she would become Lady of Winterfell. However, still unsure of Petter's intentions, Sansa visits Bran. 
From this, she learns of his greensight powers, in which he proves Petter's ultimate guilt in the War of the Five Kings. This proves everything Petter has done to gain power, his murder of John Aaron, his attempt to kill Bran, his betrayal of Ned and his attempt to turn Arya and Sansa against each other. When Arya is seemingly brought to face trial for murder and treason, Sansa catches Petter off guard when she asks how he wishes to answer for his crimes. She then reveals to all the Northern and Vale lords gathered there, including Yon Royce, whom she previously lied to, that Petter did, in fact, kill her Aunt Lisa. He also planned the assassination of John Aaron and conspired with the Lannisters to imprison Ned so they could frame him for treason. When Bellish tries to deny the charges, Bran reminds Petter that he held a knife to Ned's throat and repeats what Petter told Ned, I did warn you not to trust me, at which the stunned Petter fails to muster any type of defense. Arya, holding the Valyrian steel dagger that was given to the Catspa assassin to kill Bran, who had himself been gifted the dagger by Petter in an attempt of manipulating him, who passed it along to Arya due to its uselessness as his hands, reminds him that he told their mother the weapon belonged to Tyrion, but deduces it was Petter's all along. Seeing how things are going, Petter steps closer to the table, telling Sansa that he has known her since she was a girl and all he did was to protect her. Sansa sarcastically replies, protected me? By selling me to the Boltons? He then asks Sansa if they can speak alone and asks if he can or deserves to defend himself, before he tries to order Yon Royce as Lord Protector to escort him back to the Airy, but the Lord scornfully refuses. With no one to turn to for aid, Petter falls to his knees and begs for his life, claiming that he had loved Caitlin since he was a boy, but Sansa replies he still betrayed her. Petter insists he loves Sansa, but she replies he betrayed her too. After Sansa thanks him for the many lessons he gave her and that she will never forget, sharing an affirmative look as Arya proceed to kill him. As he pleads for his life Arya slits his throat with the dagger on behalf of the Stark siblings. Petter collapses to the floor and dies in a pool of his own blood watched by everyone present. Later on, Sansa and Arya discuss the execution. Sansa tells Arya, in his own horrible way, I believe he loved me. With Petter Bellish dead, Westeros is finally free from his deception. All who were killed in the War of the Five Kings because of his actions are finally avenged.